On this feast day of all saints, we celebrate all the saints who are in heaven. Not just the ones that happen to be canonized, the ones we know about, the ones that we were able to construct enough of their life and their virtue to be able to say, yes, they lived heroic virtue, but all the saints. In the first reading today, we hear about how there is this tremendous multitude beyond counting that are standing before the throne worshiping Almighty God. Those are the ones. And so we, wor we, we, we worship God with them, sharing in this great celebration. But it's not just their celebration, this great cloud of witnesses which is there to spur us on. This is also our celebration. Because each of us is called to be holy. Each of us, by our baptism, has been given all the grace that we need to be a saint. You have every grace you need to be a saint. Someday, there might be a statue of you somewhere and they say, Oh, that's so Saint so-and-so from Pelham. Right, Father. But the grace is there. God doesn't hold back His grace. He, he, he always pours it out in superabundance. This is our feast. And so we have to remember with this that we're each called to this holiness. Now, holiness is very simple. It's not complicated. But just because it's simple doesn't mean it's easy. <laughs> Two different things. It's saying yes to God in this moment, right now. Father Walter Kissek, who was a Jesuit on earlier part of the 20th century, he uh, had this great desire in his heart to go to Russia and to bring the gospel to uh, underneath the Soviet regime. However, when he was finally ordained, they had closed the borders and so he was unable to get into Russia. So, what did they do? They sent him to Poland to be able to minister to the people there, the Slavic people there. Well, World War II broke out. And then the Russians invaded Poland and without having to move a step, he ended up in Russia. And so from that point, he then went into mainland Russia and he had these great ideas and thoughts about how he was going to bring Jesus Christ. And none of them worked out. He was arrested very quickly. He was put into solitary confinement for five years and then he spent something like 18, 20 years, something like that, in the heavy work prisons of the Gulag up in Siberia. In the midst of all this, he had this incredible conversion of heart. Now, he was a priest already at this point, but he had this incredible conversion of heart where he came to recognize that God's will for his life wasn't some overarching scheme somewhere out there, some great thing up there that he had to try to figure out, but rather God's will was right in front of him, right here, right now. This person who came to him for spiritual direction. This person who he happened to have contact with as they were digging ditches. This work that he had to do of digging ditches or whatever else he had to do over that time. And in all that, as he came to experience, this is God's will for me. Right here, right now. What did he do? He said, I will give my all to this. Some of the other prisoners looked at him kind of cross-eyed and said, why are you putting so much energy into digging this ditch when you're not going to get any more food than you would have before and you're certainly not getting paid? But he did it to the best of his ability because he saw it as God's will for him in that moment. He is not a saint yet, but his cause is up for canonization. God's will for our life, right here, right now. The situation we find ourselves in, in this moment. Not some future moment where we hope finally to get to when we get, find our, our life and find the time to be able to pray, but in this moment, right here, right now. So all we have to do is say yes to God in this moment. The problem is, 
It can be a battle. It is hard. Because we're fighting with our own egotism and selfishness and the things that would be so much easier to do. This is why the church has always talked about the church triumphant, the church in heaven, the church suffering, the church in purgatory, and then the church militant, where we are right now. We're in a battle. And it is difficult. In fact, the, Catholic, the uh, Catechism of the Catholic Church calls prayer the battle of prayer. It's hard. It's hard to get into this moment of relationship with God. It's hard to, to trust that God's will for my life right here, right now, is truly the best will and not my own will being the best will. And yet, and yet, if we believe that God is Abba, Daddy, Father, we know that He has this great plan for our lives. And what is His will for me right here, right now, is good. We also have to trust that sin never is good for us. That sin never does anything good of itself. That sin always brings evil and bad and horrible things in our lives, no matter how small or big, no matter how good it looks. Now, God can, in His power, transform sin and transform an evil into a greater good. But sin in and of itself never is good. Ever. There's no point that it's ever good. But do we trust that? Do we trust this when God says, uh-uh, don't do it. Wouldn't be prudent at this juncture. Do we trust God to say, His will is good for my life? That's, I think, where it becomes hard to say yes to God in this moment. I know for my own self, it's a struggle at times. Because there's so much that says, oh, but it would be so much easier, so much better, so much more pleasurable, so much whatever, than doing this. Okay, God, yes, this is what you want, so I will do it. Luckily, we don't have to do this on our own. Like I said, we have this great cloud of witnesses that is surrounding us and spurring us on, that's calling us to holiness and, and will help us praying to God, pouring out that grace upon us. That God will pour out this grace through these saints. And on this All Saints Day, we can call out to those saints and say, Help! And we can look to Mary especially, who is the mold of God and wants to mold us into the shape and the heart of Jesus our Savior. And so my brothers and sisters, on this our feast day, this feast of all saints, let us ask the saints and the angels, let us ask Mary, let us ask God for that grace to say yes to Him right in this moment, right now.